This is the Z88 Mechanical Gaming Keyboard from E-Element, which can be had for about 49 Aussie or US dollars from Amazon. This may look like another random Chinese branded keyboard, but is it actually any good? Let's find out. Let's start off with the tour. On top is the minimalist 81 key setup with all your extra keys such as volume up or down, calculator and print screen assigned as secondary functions on the F keys and the home area keys which can be accessed when holding down the function key on the right hand side. All the keys are very compacted, making for this weird design choice of having the arrow keys and home buttons mashed in with the main keys on the right which can take a bit of time to get used to when typing. Underneath the ABS plastic keycaps which can be removed with the included keycap puller is the OutEMU blue switches, which are very similar to Cherry MX blues, with very audible clickiness, medium to hard actuation, and also features a Cherry keycap compatible stem if you decide to replace the keys. OutEMU blue switches are rated at 50 million clicks, so these aren't too bad of knockoffs. One interesting thing about these switches are that they are actually removable, and six replacement switches are also provided in the box, but searching around the internet, it does seem that you could also replace these with other mechanical switches such as Gateron, Cherry, or Kale, but I cannot be certain on that fact. The faceplate under the keys is actually titanium alloy, which makes this keyboard extremely rigid. The font on the keycaps is legible with a sort of gamery, futuristic look to some of the letters is how I would best describe it. On the spacebar is the white etched E-Element logo on the left hand side, which looks to be like a hawk or an eagle of some sort. Heading over to the back, there are two pop out rubber feet, which do a pretty mediocre job of stopping the keyboard from sliding, with support from two rubber pads at the bottom. Finally, we get onto my favourite feature of all, which is oddly enough the 1.8 metre rubberised USB 2.0 cord, which connects to the actual keyboard itself with a USB mini connector, making this keyboard easy to pack away to take to a friend's house or LAN party. To add even more brownie points to the mix, there is also tracks either side of the connector to route it to the left or right hand side if desired. Well done, E-Element. There was also extra model names and numbers for this keyboard and manufacturer info on this area in the middle, but unfortunately, the website is only in Chinese, so I wasn't able to get a lot of information. The keyboard is matte black, except for around the faceplate edges, which are polished metal. Being a matte colour means skin oil residue is less likely to show, and dust settling on the board should be less likely. Okay, let's now talk about the lighting, as each key is individually backlit and the keyboard has 9 preset colour effects which can be changed by holding the function key and the page down key to cycle through them. First up is rainbow wave, followed by typing spread, static rainbow, single key type, rainbow fading, gaming keys only, across and back, cross and out, and finally snaking. While holding the function key, the arrow up and down keys will allow you to change the brightness and the left and right keys will change the speed of certain effects. The lighting is pretty dull and you can't actually change the colour of the keys, only the effect, but it is still nice to have. Another nice feature to note is full end key rollover support, which is always great to have for those intense gaming moments. Build quality wise, this keyboard is completely solid with absolutely no flex whatsoever and trust me, I tried. Size wise we are looking at 124mm long, 310mm wide and 49mm high, with the legs popped out. Weight wise, this keyboard is incredibly light at just 558 grams, which makes it super portable. Right, now all that's out of the way, it's time for the typing test to hear the out emu blues in action. For in-game testing, I just messed around in Fortnite trying to outmaneuver opponents and be fast at some basic defensive building as my playstyle is default, which is an issue apparently. As expected, all key presses registered without issue and having a small profile allowed me to bring my mouse closer for better accuracy. In conclusion, this keyboard is brilliant to take with you to a friend's house or LAN parties with its small size, lightweight and detachable cable making it easy to pack into a bag or even in your pocket if it's large enough. The audible blue switches aren't for everyone, including myself, as I personally hate clicky switches like these, but they can be swapped out for other out emu switches, or maybe try your luck with different manufacturer switches, and let me know how it goes. 
If the switches or form factor doesn't turn you off for the price, this keyboard is well worth the money, even just to have as a backup. If you would like to purchase this keyboard, it will be linked in the description below with my Amazon affiliate link, which helps the channel out, so consider using it for any of your future Amazon purchases. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, please consider subscribing for more reviews and other content in the future. If you have a suggestion, question or criticism, leave a comment, and thank you very much for watching.